jury convicting the man behind this wild crime spree, carjackings, a high-speed chase, and a state trooper hit and badly hurt. We'll have that video here for you in just a second. Ryan Stone found guilty on all but two counts he was facing while on trial. 7 News reporter Russell Haythorn was in that courtroom when the verdict came down. And Russell, at the minimum, Stone will spend 64 years in prison. Eric, that's because Ryan Stone has a lengthy criminal history dating back to 2003. So there are sentence enhancers in this case, which will lengthen his sentence. That wild chase coming to an end right here at this intersection, and it all played out on live TV. It was a captivating scene, a chase reaching speeds of 112 miles per hour. A suspect with extreme indifference, yanking women right out of their cars, stealing another with a four-year-old boy inside. This was a great verdict and a menace has been taken off the street. During the chase, Ryan Stone also hit a state trooper who was trying to throw out stop sticks. Eventually, Stone fled on foot through the snow meeting his match here, a fence he couldn't quite get over. Today, one of his victims saying the verdicts were just. It went the way I hoped it would go. It's also hard to see the reactions of him and his family because they're humans, and I know this is really hard. So um, ultimately, I'm, I, I think the jury did the right thing, and I thank them. Stone convicted on 18 of 20 counts today. Sentencing is set for August. Live in Douglas County, Russell Haythorn, 7 News.